Fortnite Sport Mode Crocs Band BK Advent Calendar. This is your pop jam. Keep watching to hear more. All right, guys, let's get into our pop culture news. First up, Fortnite ESPN Sports Game Mode. ESPN has launched its own football island in Fortnite. Now you can dive into football themed games, team up with friends in new touchdown rush and complete fun challenges. They even bought in ESPN announcers to make it feel like a real game. Just search ESPN and Fortnite to check it out. Uh, that looks pretty cool. I haven't been able to get on. I haven't played Fortnite in a long time, uh, but that is tempting to get back and see what that game mode is like. It looks pretty epic. Um, but yeah, let me know if you've had a go at that or jumped into squads with the team there. Um, yeah, and had a go. That'd, that'd be pretty cool. Um, all right, next up, Crocs getting banned. No, or yeah, I don't know. What do you think? Schools in the US are banning Crocs. They're saying the shoes cause too many accidents because students don't always use the strap in what is called sport mode, or they use it in sport mode. And the charms are distracting. Some kids are even throwing their Crocs around. Looks like these popular clogs might not be welcome in the class anymore. I'm not too sure what's happening in New Zealand schools or in your schools, but um, yeah, how are Crocs going? Are they are they a yay or a nay? Um, yeah, and and is that good? Would it be good if they were banned? I don't know. There's, it's it's so versatile. Like I don't mind them. I don't have a pair, but they're pretty all right, I guess. Um, let me know what you guys think. Crocs banned or here to stay? Let me know. Okay, next up, Burger King BK Advent Calendar is packed with surprises. This looks pretty cool. Burger King is launching its first ever Advent Calendar, featuring, tw featuring 12 surprises inspired by the brand's 70-year history, with nods to iconic items like the Whopper and chicken fries. Each day reveals a new prize, giving fans a playful look back at Burger King's journey over the years. That looks pretty cool. It's a shame it's only available in the US at the moment uh, it'd be cool if they bought it uh, to New Zealand uh, but that that's that looks pretty cool it'd be, it'd be pretty fun to open that up and see what's inside okay and in quick fire news guys Pokemon trading card has gone digital yeah Pokemon have launched a new app called pocket where you can collect and trade Pokemon cards digitally that looks very cool if you've got if you don't like the hassle of carrying around a whole bunch of cards or uh, to battle friends um, that that could be pretty pretty right up your alley if you're a Pokemon trading card fan uh, Volleyback has created a jacket using actual NASA materials that go into space so you could be have it wearing clothes with um, space materials, which is pretty cool. And the Russia court, ha Russian court, has fined Google an enormous amount, over 34 decillion New Zealand dollars. It's it's an incredible number, probably like a bit of a Google number. I don't know, because Google blocked uh, certain Russian YouTube channels. So um, yeah, that that's pretty intense. What's going on there? Uh, okay, and this week's Pop Jam has been brought to you by the value of self-control. Have you ever felt like your emotions were building up so much that they burst out, maybe upsetting others? Uh, how do you think using self-control could help in a moment like that? Let me know by commenting on the Pop Jam video at kiwikidsnews.co.nz with your school and I'll send a shout out your way next week, or one of those a shout out next week. Okay guys, that brings us to the end of this week's Pop Jam. If you want to know more news from around the world like these, make sure you check out kiwikidsnews.co.nz. And remember to keep on jamming. Laters guys.